Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 7 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So without any delay, let's go to the first question. And the first question is how to enable automatic user creation from email. So for enabling the automatic user creation for email, we have to go to the email properties and there we have to get one checkbox that is automatically create users for incoming email from trusted domains and we have to check that and then after that uh, some more process is there but uh, mm, but generally in interview they will they want to know like whether it's possible or not or like which which property we need to like enable enable it like there after also we need to add some trusted domains like that we need to disable the guest user account so many more process are there but in interview they will generally interested in this property this is property only that is uh, that is you see that automatically create users from incoming email now next question next question is what is the difference between standard and normal change so if you say in interview like you have work on ITSM so definitely they will ask this question like what is the difference between standard and normal change so that time you will say like a standard change is a pre-authorized or pre-approved change that is low risk relatively common and follows a specified procedure or work instruction a standard change is one that is frequently implemented has repeatable implementation steps and has a proven history of success as standard changes are pre-approved they follow a streamlined process in which group level or peer approval and cap authorization steps are not required so maybe they will ask the like can you give one example so you can say like rebooting of the server so that 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 comes under the standard change now come to the normal change the normal change request to follow a prescriptive process which requires two levels of approval before being implemented reviewed and closed these changes require a full range of assessments authorization such as peer or technical approval change management change and advisory board authorization to ensure completeness accuracy and the least possible disruption to service so in normal way you can say that like uh, what are the service change that is not comes under the standard change or emergency change that we call as a normal change now move to the next question next question is which search engine used to search any record in service now this is the most important question mostly like some of the interviewers start from this question only so you have to know this is a very basic question so the answer is zing text indexing and search engine is the default search engine used to search now platform record data so I mean basically you have to tell only this thing only zing test indexing and search engine this much is the sufficient now move to the next question how to hide add to card option for particular catalog item this is the most important and very confusing sometimes you will if you go to the community you will get it like um, you have to go to the maintain uh, maintain card layouts and there you go to the item visits so that is different one but here they will ask like for particular catalog item how will do that so for that we have to go to the service catalog then go to the catalog definition we have to go to the maintain items in that we have to open a particular item and there we have to will get two fields that is use card layout and no card so what we'll do we have to uncheck the use card layout option and check the no card option there might be possibility that you will not get these two fields on your form so what we what you have to do both are the out of the box so what you do you have to just uh, configure your form layout and from the from the available side you you have to drag it to the selected side and then after after uh, after saving that you will get and get both of the option so like that you can hide the add to cart option from particular catalog item now fifth question is what is the syntax to call script include in server side so for calling the script including server side 
will that in that is the syntax like we have to create one object with and there will declare uh, this script include and then by using that op uh, object will call the particular function so like this where obj equal to new script include name and then obj dot function name like that we are calling the script include in server side because mostly what people are th what people are thinking like interviewer will ask about the client side but sometimes they will ask like how to call in server side so like that time we have to tell like that now this is the most common question like can we use glide record in client side scripting if not then what are the other alternatives available in service now so glide record should not to be used in client side scripting because it will cause a performance issue so that's why we are avoiding to use the glide record in client side scripting instead of that we can use g underscore scratch pad get reference and asynchronous glide ajax lookup to make server call in client side now in last video i have asked like in which table updates update sets and their customization is stored so like what are the updates it we are creating that are stored in sys underscore update underscore set table but their related customization that are stored in sys update sys underscore update underscore xml table so sometimes what happen like you will is inter, inter will interviewer will make you try to confuse like within within two tables like they will ask like if here the custom where the updates are customization is stored like that alone they will ask this question so that time you have to tell like sys underscore update underscore xml table in this table the all the uh, all the updates are related customization is stored and they are like what are the like general information about update set that are stored under the sys underscore update underscore set table yeah so the today's question is what is ola so if you know the answer please write in the comment box i will i will give the answer in the next video Thank you.